Lord is here. This is, the Lord is in this place. Yes. So let's get ready to receive what the Lord has for us. Don't go empty. Don't go empty. Don't go out the way you come out, you come in. Get yourself with Jesus. Get yourself with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Take that joy with you. You come down broken heart, go with that joy. Amen. Because God has God something good for you tonight. But you have to be ready. You have to open up your heart and willing to receive. Amen. Because Jesus is good. He's always good. Amen. Feels good. Feels good about uh, coming back home. Yeah. You know, I know we got a lot of people wondering why you here back home. You know, <laughs> I've been I've been kind of quiet for a little bit. You know, um, I was going through. Hard times, you know, and uh, uh, I separate myself from uh, from my brothers, from my sis, from my sisters, and I was just I was just being myself, and uh, um, I was going through a lot of stuff, and, uh, and I was getting tired. I was getting tired already. Tired of fighting, tired of struggle all the time, Amen. and uh, um, I even got myself in depression because I was thinking too much. And then uh, I was kind of like, you know, what's the use? That's where everything. That's where the, the enemy always put in your head. What do you try all the time? Amen. I said, myself, well, I want nothing to not with the church. I said, I don't want to do nobody, just this myself. I said, you know. And then, uh, um, it's just, it's just, it's kind of, it was kind of hard. And, uh, and I was kind of like, like, inside of me, I was like in a, like in a prison, like in a box. And I was trying to find myself out, like, out of the, out of the hole. I'm a fighter. I always find myself. I always find myself the way out. But this time, that hole got so deep, and I was trying to get out. And I was trying to fight it. I mean, I tried so hard that I got tired. And I said to the Lord, I'm, I'm, I said for me, I'm tired. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to try anymore. I just want to be by myself. There's nobody, nobody understands what I'm going through. And that's what the enemy always wants. Amen. Yes. That's what the enemy always wants for you to think that. That's right. That nobody cares about you. Preach. That nobody really, you're, you are on your own. Nobody, nobody's going to understand you, what you're going through. Amen. I stop reading, I stop, I stop praying, I stop, I stop talking to God, I stop reading the Bible. I even stopped to talk to people about the Lord because I was so tired. I was nothing to do with it. Now that I go back to the world, I don't need to go back to the world. But it was in my own world only. And, and I want nobody else in my world. This is my problem. And I'm going to figure it out myself. I don't need nobody. I don't need my help. But I know that was the lie of the devil. Yes. Amen. Amen. That was the lie of the devil. And I was believing the lie. And I was believing the lie. Right. I don't need nobody. But I'm so tired. And I was crying inside of me. And asking the little Lord, what's wrong with me? This is not me. I know who I am. I know who I am. Like what the Bible was preaching this Sunday morning. You, you lost your identity. And I started losing it. Because I don't know who I was for a little while who I am now. I don't know who I am. And I was told in the Lord, Lord, help me. I can't do this no more. Amen. And this is crazy. I started thinking. 
suicidal stuff. I was thinking that something that I never, never comes in my mind. And I said, you know what? You know, if I do this, it'll all go in. And then I don't have to worry about it. And I even, I even talked to my son, the youngest the young one, going to the gym. I was told the way I was feeling. And I told him, I never really talked to my dad, my real dad, because he took his life when I was little. So I never really met him. But the devil put all, all that in my head. And I was telling my son, you know what, Santo? Now I understand why my dad took his life. Because he was trying hard like me, trying to make something better. And instead it gets worse. And you get so tired to try and try. And I told you the best thing to do is now I know why it took his life. And I understand now. Sometimes I feel the same way too. Sometimes I go to my house, to the room, in the dark, think by myself. And my son told me, Dad, don't think like that. Because you know better. Maybe he, maybe it was hard for you, for him at that time. Because he, because he never knew the Lord. But you know the Lord. You need to trust in the Lord. The Lord is going to help you. Amen. And I told you, you know what, son, you're right. You're right. And I was, I was even being in the gym by myself. And I was quite inside of me, trying to look for help. I'm telling you what I was going through. This is my testimony. Don't think because you see me in the church smiling. And everything is okay because we never show what we're going through. Because sometimes people need to see what we're going through. And I say, Lord, I don't know what to do no more. I'm so tired. I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of trying hard all the time. And every time I say I'm going to get ahead of life, it's always something coming out. And I'm going back backward, always backward, always going forward, never going forward. Lord, what's wrong with me? What's going on with me? Something is not right in here. Amen. Amen. And I asked the Lord, Lord, I need your help. I told him, I need your help. I can do it without you. I know you're the answer. I don't have the strength to ask you for help. That's what the enemy always wants. Always to believe the lie. And a lot of Christians believe the lie sometimes. And they accept the lie and they keep the lie. And I asked Lord, I was feeling dry. And spiritually I was dry. Even my bones were dry. There was nothing in there. Nothing. But I can feel the voice of God always behind me, talking to me. You need to come back. You need to talk to me. You need to look for help. Amen. You know what the hope is. You know what the answer is. You don't give up. Amen. You need something. But you know what it is. But I wasn't me, but I don't need it. <coughs> That's why it's important to have friends. It's important to have friends. They love God like you. They have the same vision like you. It's important to surround yourself with people like that. Amen. Amen. Because those friends are going to help you when you need the help. They're going to be there for you no matter what. Amen. Amen. If you open your Bible in the, in the book of Ruth, remember it's in the Bible, Ruth, the book of Ruth, 
I know you're not going to find it because it's a smaller book. It's after uh, I believe it's Kings, to be Kings, and then uh, uh, no judges. I'm sorry. Maybe. 
Because this one got everything. So they don't care about you. They only care about the one that has the same quality, like them. Amen. The metal one, he's all right. He's trying. But he failed it so well, I still get there. But the metal one said, I'm too low to go lower. So I don't want to go lower. I want to stay like that. And they stay. This is the group. The lower one, they know they don't have nothing. All they have is themselves. All they have what is give from their heart to the Lord. Yeah. They're groups like that. And I know we do have groups like this. I don't want those kind of group. That's not the kind of people that I need. I need the people that love the Lord the way I love the Lord. I need the brothers and sisters that they pursue holiness. They pursue getting close to God. No matter what, they will not keep their mouth shut about Jesus. Amen. Those are the kind of people God wants us to surround ourselves, to be around them. Amen. Not to the one high because they don't care about all those people over there. They only care about themselves. They only care about their high. So, hey, I'm close to God. But well, let me tell you something. You're not even close to God. Because you feel yourself over here. But the Lord ain't your eyes. The Lord's eyes are way low. Amen. Amen. That's the kind of people God don't want. Amen. I said, God said, surround yourself. That's what God told me. Surround with people that love me. People like you that have the fire for me. to the 
Lord. <clears throat> the Lord told me, the enemy has no power. That's what he told me. That was his voice. The enemy has no power against you. You give him the power when you stop praying, when you stop reading the Bible, when you start communicating with people like you. The enemy has no power against you. But you give him the power. That's why the power, that's why the devil feels so invincible. Because without fear, he gets his power. That's what he told me. And I said, Lord, you're right. How foolish I was. Sometimes we think, well, the devil. Yeah, the devil does what he wants with you. Because you give him the power to do whatever he wants with you. The devil got defeated 2,000 years ago. The Bible said he gave me the power over him. And I didn't even understand that. I still, the Lord spoke to me. And he told me that. I said, Lord, you're right. You know? I said, it's time for you, devil, to pick up, pick up your clothes and out of here. Amen? Amen. Because I belong to Jesus. Amen. That's what I'm about. Jesus is me. This is who I am. I'm back, Lord. Yes. What do you want me to do? I'm ready to preach. Yes. Any time we go to a pastor now. And I went and told pastor. Hey, pastor, I'm ready to preach. Hallelujah. You know? And he said, okay, well, I'll Wednesday for you. Okay, Lord. And I said, well, now, what's the message? Uh -huh. You told me to tell pastor. I went and told him. So what's the message? <laughs> At that moment, the Lord gave me the message right away. Hallelujah. I don't prepare messages. I only get message that he gave me. Amen. 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 And that's what he gave me with Ruth. Ruth, he was told me. Ruth chapter 1. Remember those two women. Those three women. Remember that. One decided to stay with the other one. The other one decided to, decided to go back to the world. He, said he decided to go with, to back to this country and worship his God. Because she gave up. She gave up. She said, forget it. There's nothing good that's going to come out from this. But it's always something good. Always got to, it's always something coming up good from God. Amen. Nothing coming good for them. Always good all the time. Amen. Yes. But we get ourselves in the hole. And we said, the devil made me do it. And I was told people, no, the devil not make me do it. <laughs> You're doing it yourself. The devil put the top, uh, in case he put everything in your head, right. but it's for you to reject the Lord's statement. Amen. Right. Yes. Do you say the devil made me up because you decide to accept and go and do it? Amen. Amen. Yes. When you say, well, <clears throat> I see, uh, uh, I, I, I see them uh, to my wife. Well, what happened? Well, I see this beautiful woman. And she was a hot, I mean, she was hot, you know. And then I had the, 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 the chance to do it. But you did it because the devil put you that woman right there. Yeah. It's for you to turn your back and say, no, I don't want it to do with that. Amen. Because I love my wife. Amen. And I'm happy with my wife. Amen. And, I, and I don't want to hurt my wife. Amen. Amen. And I love the Lord. That's right. It's not because remember we got temptation. We do, all right. But sometimes you know, sometimes it's a limit. You can make that limit. You can stop at the limit. As, from here, as far as I go, I say, Amen. Amen. I talk to people. I talk to girls in the gym. I do. I don't say no. My son no, was my witness right there. He said too. Or something about myself. But you know what? I love the Lord. Number two, I love my wife. Do you know what? A price that I'm going to pay just for that, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. Amen? Because what, what she has, my wife has it too. There's no difference. Amen? It's 
no different at all. Remember, that question is only for a little bit. The consequence is big. Amen. So, um, so you have to uh, surround your soul with people with the same vision. Amen. Amen. Let's play this question here. Oh, there you go. Chris, give me brother. I love this guy a lot. Yeah. You know, this man right here, yes. he told me, 6 o'clock in the morning, hey. he was going to work. And he called me, he said, hey, but I just want to know how you, how you doing, how you feel. Yeah. You know, yeah. because I care for you, bro. You know, and, and I want you to keep, keep fighting again. Yeah. That right there, it means a lot to me. Yeah. I even told my wife, I feel something special. Because somebody cares about me. Sure, that's right. And I, and I thank God for him and his wife. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I know God. Yeah. And they were there for me. No matter what. Yeah. I remember Shayla. When I was going through this, <clears throat> she sent me a text. And, he, and she told me, George, I was praying for you. And God told me to tell you to, to talk to the pastor. I didn't even know her sex. I just, I know, you don't have to tell me that. I know that, you know. But I was asking the Lord, and I go, Lord, I need your help. But people like that you need. They're willing to do everything for you. Because they care about you. Amen. Amen. I listen to the other one. All we do is what? Talk about the Lord. That's it. That's not other stuff. Not dumb things. All we talk about the love that God has for us. Yeah. And to go out and save souls. This mom is the same way. Yeah. It's another one that I love for. Uh -huh. All she does is just talk about the Lord. Oh, you want to know when we go out and outreach people over there. Let's go do outreach. Let's go, let's go over there and help the homeless. Let's go bring them to the Lord. That's good. People like that, God wants you to surrender to, surround yourself yeah. with the same passion, yeah. same love, yeah. with the same fire. That's right. I like to hear that. And I don't mind if this let's go do it. I'm going to do it. I don't care. I'm not ashamed. Right. Right. Amen. Yeah. But those groups here, the that are high over here, you don't want to hear me talking like that. Not even close. Because, oh, no, no, no. That's not for us. No. No, no. no that's, that's, that's for them. Not for us. We're high here. We're close to God. Okay, so no, no. We know the Bible too. Okay, so they they need it, not us. Amen. The male one, they say, well, they only talk. All they do is talk. Oh, let's just do this, let's do that. But they won't do it. You know? Because they got the group the only who stay in church, and that's it. Church is better. Because I can feel myself secure in the church. The low one say, hey. Let's go and tell told those people about Jesus. They he loved too. He died for them. He died for the homeless. Yes, Amen. Yes, All we talk about, hey, let's, let's get together. Let's go have Bible study together. Hey, I always go, hey, what's, what's wrong, brother? Everything okay with you? Yeah. Anything, give me a call. I'll pray for you. I, 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 I get text messages, George, I used to pray for, for me or for my husband, for my kid. All I do is pray right away. Yeah. Pray. Yeah. Yeah. The other ones, I want to get the message, uh, well, you better tell the pastor. The pastor will pray. Not me, I'm busy right now. Uh, that's a shame. That's embarrassing, to be honest with you. You know? 
listen, God died for us. What the, what, what the Bible said? The word said, if you're ashamed of me, what? I'll be ashamed of you. Amen. Amen. Turn your Bible in uh, uh, in uh, my, uh sorry, sorry, um, in uh, uh this one I guess, isn't it? Sorry, forgot it. What is it? I forgot in English. I try to remember. Malachi. So there you go, Malachi. See, that's what happens. It's hard when you know two languages. It's hard. I get confused sometimes. Hey, what's the name of your baby? And I have to tell it in Spanish. You know, like I try to remember in English. Or sometimes I have to get in English and, and, uh, and in Spanish. And I try to say, uh, in English, I remember in English, but I forgot in Spanish. So I got to tell her, what, are you saying this in Spanish, baby? You know? And it's kind of really embarrassing. Uh, Malachi, um, Malachi chapter uh, 3, let's finish with this real fast, chapter 3, alright, chapter 3 verse, uh, verse uh, 16. And the Lord listened and heard them. So, so a book of remembrance, of remembrance was written before him. Remember, then those who feared the Lord and spoke to what? To one another. See what I mean? Surround yourself with people like that. Remember, this is what Jesus, this is what God said. Amen. Surround yourself. He said, remember, there's those who... who Fear the Lord, it is spoke to one another. One another. Support each other. Hoping each other in the faith. Amen. Amen. If the one is down, lift them up. If the one is hungry, feed him. This is what he says. He wrote this book. He put it right there. Amen. And he says, he said, if the Lord is it, it hurts them. So a book of remembrance was written. He has a book of you. He wrote a book of your life. And he has it. Everything you do, everything you say is written in that book. It's called the book of your life. He wrote it. Be like the lion. Look at that. You're scary. Right? But you never see the lion walking alone. So with the pack all the time. You know why? Because they're, 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 they're more powerful. Amen. They fear more. Yes. The other animal fears them because they never attack single. They all attack the hog. They all come to attack to the prey. Amen. Amen. Because few in the world, few want to eat, but few are willing to hunt. Amen. Amen. They want to eat everything, but they don't, they don't want to hunt. Right. The, the one from here, they don't want to hunt. They want to eat the food. That's right. Because it's too much work. That's why you never see the lions alone. Amen. I want to eat, but I want them to go hunt. And I want to eat the best because I want to hunt my prey. Amen. So, when we go to heaven, and I got a huge crown, and a huge castle, don't get mad at me. <laughs> Amen? Because I went in heart. I did his work in earth. Amen? Amen. Amen. If you get a small little crown or a small little house, that's no problem. <laughs> Amen? I, guess I, want to I, I will remember you. I was told you not to eat only the food. Go hunt for the prey. Go get the best food. Amen? Go over there. Amen? Hey, that's what the word says. So don't be mad. Alright? He wrote it right here. 
it was him, not his fault. Because he wrote this book. Amen. 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 That's right. He wrote it for us. Let's go get the promises. Let's go get it. Don't wait for it. Because it's not going to come. I'm telling you. There are few that are willing to hunt. Let's go get the promises. The promises is for us. God brought me all the way to here, not for me to go back. He brought me to here to go get the land that he promised me. He, got, he brought me to here to go and grab my promises. My blessings are for me and not for, not for another one. They are mine. He has it for me. He has my name written in that promise. Amen. So it's for me to go back and get the promises. Amen. Remember, Israel, Israel when they come out of from from Egypt, they were crying. Hey, we're better over there. You brought us here in this desert, we're dying. There's no food, no water. What the heck? But you promised us a lot. It's a land uh, uh, with, uh, with, uh, what is it? Thank you. With honey. With honey and milk. Amen. But where's the honey? And where's the milk? Are you kidding me? That Moses was a liar. He brought me in the desert. There's nothing here. Are you kidding? Hey, let's go back over there. I know we're over there. It was a uh, slave. And I was late in the sand, but I was happy. That's that they were saved. Yeah. Okay? That was the lie. And Moses said, oh, hold on, man. We're not there yet. We gotta get stronger. Because remember, there are giants in the, in the other parts of the river. Yes. There are giants. That's right. Are you strong enough to face the giants? Are you weak? You're crying and complaining right here. How you gonna handle those giants? Amen. Amen. We do the same thing, the same way. We complain. But where's my promise? You promised me. You promised me this. You promised. That's what I did. But where is it? Man, all this trouble here. Where's my promise? And God said, because I'm not down with you. If I give it to you, it's going to be easy. Go. Go fight. Yes. You're a fighter, not a player. Don't quit. Pick out the cross. Yes. Keep following me. Yes. Keep fighting. Yes. Amen? Amen? Don't throw the towel because you're going through a little more hard, hard times. I'm not even down with you. I was with you. What's wrong with you? I said, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out myself. You know? He said, well, pick up the Bible. Promises for you. Claim it. Go get it. Don't be like a baby crying all the time. And crying, he won't stop until he gets the Bible. Little babies. So don't be a baby. Be a mighty warrior. I get you for it. You're a mighty warrior. You like to fight. You like to go there and get it. You face the enemy face to face. You're not afraid. That's the joy that I know. That's the joy that I'm safe. And I know you because I created you before, before you were formed in your mouth when he told me, I'll call you by your name. I give you that name, George. It was your parent. I give it to you. Because you know what George means? It, uh, it, means, it means farmer. I'm a farmer because I go and plant seed. There you go. Yeah. And I go and prepare the, the soil. It's a hard work. But I do it because that's my name. Yeah. He gave me the name. Yeah. That's you. Yeah. That's you. Get up and get it. Go get it. That's why we need to surround with people like that. Don't surround with people that cry, they complain, because then you're going to start doing the same thing. <laughs> Crying. You know? Always call them pastor. Pastor, you know what to do. You know? Pastor told me to pray. I did, but nothing happened. 
Well, I don't know what to tell you. You know? They got a lot faster. Like, I was told them, I said, why don't I tell you? But I don't know what to tell you. Oh, tell you, go read the Bible. Go ask the Lord. Trust the Lord. That's it. You know? The one that told you all your problems, I don't need your problems. I got my own. I got my own. I don't need yours. I can put it out of my own. I'm not going to hit yours. Go take it to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Give it to him. Right. I don't need it. I can. Right. I'm better try to figure out mine. You want me to figure out yours? <laughs> Forget it. We're going to be in the same boat. Yeah. You know? You need to be out of that boat to yourself. Right. Amen. So, <clears throat> how many of you guys understand? Amen. Amen. Yes? Amen. That is good, right? Smile. No, she's love you. Amen. Don't get mad. Be happy. Amen. Be happy because I'm back. I'm ready. Stop using it. 
got myself in a, um, with this type of uh, withdrawal, what do you call it, withdrawal. I'm telling you, I was, my bones were all dry. Because I separated myself from my connection. And then I called him. And I told him, I need a fix. I need a shot. And you're the only one I can give to me. You know what his name is? The Holy Spirit. I'm so addicted to his love that I need his, his anointing. Amen. I told him I need it. I need the shot. I need the anointing one more time. I want to feel better myself one more time. I want to feel you one more time. Amen. When I told the Holy Spirit, come to me one more time. I need the shot. Give me the shot. Amen. I want to that shot run all over my body, all over my, my, my vein. And he gave me, give me the love one more time. And let me tell you something. I'm, the, I'm back. Jesus, 
He's the only one. Yes. Amen. He's the only one. Yes. He's the one set me free. He's the one set you free. He's the one who deliver you. He's the one who you from the from 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 the from the from the hell. He's the only one. Yes. People say, well, try this one, it will make you feel good. And I told them, well, try this one. And that's what's going to feel real good. And I told them all the time, you taste this, you never go back. That's right. Amen. You give me your drug, I'll get hooked, and I won't go back for the same thing. There you go. There's one here. You try it, it will set you free. Amen. Get who get this? This is better. This is better than uh, Mr. Fenemy. That's right. This is better than Coke. This is better than that. Uh, yeah, I got so many that I forgot now. You know, I've been so clean so many years that I forgot all that. I don't need it. Amen. Amen. I don't need it. Amen. Listen, let's fall in love with God. Let's go for let's get in love with him. Let's get addicted to the love. I'm telling you, it, you, you will not regret it. I'm telling you. I, that's why I said, I gotta confess. The Lord told me, confess. Yeah. Confess that addiction that you have. Right. I said, okay, what I'm gonna say. Yeah. You know? I know everybody was wondering. I wonder what he did. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I wonder what he got into it now. You know? Yeah. I got it this.
separate any. I just don't want the wrong impression given to this church. What kind of pastor we have in this church? We love each and every one of you, and we do our very best to try to stand on this one path. We love you, Is that we know that you're in trouble, and we know that you have an emergency. If you will give us a phone call, we will get there as soon as possible. I got so confused. I 
said, I don't know which one is. And Pastor Steve was here. He didn't know the Pastor there, but I don't know which one is. I, told him, I was talking about the people in my mom. Well, who's the pastor? I don't know. I mean, they, they say uh, the shoulder of the is a pastor. Then the other one, the other tall pastor, he's a pastor, so I don't know which one. But I was a good church. You gotta come on, check it out. Amen. Amen. Hey, you know, God is good. Amen. God is good. Get yourself, get yourself with, like surrounded with people. Amen. Amen. That's why I get surrounded with the pastors. I do. I needed help. I needed to pray. I needed to pray for me. The way I pray for them. Because the enemy will try everything to separate you from the pastors. He loves to do that. And he always, they always, they always like to get the ones that are weak. Not the strong ones. Because he knows he can touch that one. That one is not going to believe everything that I say. That's why they get the weak ones. The ones that, they, 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 they don't want to do nothing. And they love that one. Because they believe the lie. And they cause problems in the church. And they go from one to another one. And they made them make a big, huge thing, you know? And then the whole church is involved with that. It's like cancer. You know, it started small, and it gets big. And it gets the whole body. That's what the Bible said, got it off. Got it right there. Amen. But God is good. Amen. So God bless you. And I hope you guys enjoy the message. Amen. And remember, God love you. I love you. Pray for me. Amen. Pray for my pastors. Yeah, pray Amen. Yeah. And uh, I don't want to get in trouble anymore. <laughs> I'm ready to fight. I'm ready. I'm telling you. I, I, I'm ready. I am ready. I'll pick up my cast. Let's go. You know? Let's go. Come on. I tell them, no, bring it. Bring it this time. You know, this is for real. Amen. 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 God is good. God bless you, everybody. Amen. Pastor.